Hey, Kayla. I feel like I can't see you forever. I just saw you so I know, but <laughs> it just feels like that was so long ago for some I reason. I don't know. It does feel like it's been a Anyway, we came to visit yeah. and see the little babies. Like one is napping. She just got there eating. Well, she needs to eat more. Yeah. She didn't drink anything. It's okay. She'll eat more. Aspen's pushing a baby wipe container around. Aspen. Time not studying on them. She seems happy. For a moment. And then Uncle Aiden has Brooklyn. Hey, sweet girl. Anyway, Kayla was just telling me she's thinking about calling the, what do you even call your OBGYN? I guess. I don't know who to call. I guess that's who I would call. I mean, because it's so late that they're not going to be able to get me in today. Mm mm. So, I mean. And it's not like you're running fever or anything. You know what I mean? I don't think. Do I feel hot to you? <laughs> no, you don't. Your hands are freezing. I just washed them. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I do it with my lips. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm totally normal. <laughs> but I'm just having like, I'm still having the bleeding, like I'm on my period, mm -hmm. which should, and it's still bright red, and it should not be that color. It, that should have stopped like day, like within the first week, that's bright red, it's supposed to stop. It's supposed to be like, you know, old blood now. Yeah. And it's still bright red, like I'm on my period. And then today, I've been experiencing this pain on my left side, like up here. Hi. Yeah, like not lower, like see, so it almost feels like I've done like an ab workout. Like it's just sore and achy. Like you know, like after you work out really hard, <laughs> yeah. like you go to walk around, it's just like, ooh. Are you having any stabbing pain? Or is it just more like you're sore? Because I know sometimes like sharp stabbing pain it could be gallbladder. Like I right now, gallbladder's on lift. Like right now sitting here, it's like this stabbing pain, but it's more like back in back. here, like in my side. I mean, it could, I mean, pain radiates. Yeah, so you know, I don't so know. I mean, and then, like, also I told Mama, it's like right now sitting here, it's like I feel like something is stabbing, like, my urethra. Really? I don't know how to explain it. Well, I mean, you did carry twins. I yeah, don't know what like, to expect after three that. Three weeks yeah. after, it's now starting to, like, feel weird. Maybe because everything's really trying to heal up. But I still would call the doctor, especially if you think it's your gallbladder. <sighs> Because <clears throat> if you're having like spasms or something, I mean, you need to get in just to make sure nothing is going on. They can do an ultrasound and see it. I know, but that's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, unless you go to the ER tonight. I don't think it's an ER visit. I don't either. Looking at you, it's not. No. I would just call to it see just if they can get you in. It just is discomfort, and it's like yeah. something new. Like, I feel like the pain should have been worse earlier on, not three weeks later. Right. But then again, I've been doing a lot more this week, yeah. and I'm not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I know everyone in the comments probably gonna get on me. Yeah, but I just—it's hard though when you're already a mama. You have to just you keep have going. To, yeah, I mean, like I feel like my C-section doesn't hurt. That's what I'm trying to explain. It's like it's yeah. not my C-section. <laughs> right. It's like upper left area feels weird. My back on that side or side on that that side feels weird. It's just like and then like and that it could be all that numbing stuff they gave you. I don't know. Like did that. Because, I mean, to this day, I have issues with my back. Like, burning, yeah. stabbing pains in my spine. But then, like, the urethra pain. Yeah. That feels right. It almost feels like something is, like, up there. You know when they, when you do a C-section, you do realize they peel your bladder away from your body. And then they put it back. They lay it back, and it's got to naturally attach. After Aiden, I couldn't use the restroom on my own, like, urinate. I had to take a warm bottle of water. Did it just feel like to, pain? Painful? Like, like I had a UTI. Pain? Yeah. Oh, and, and to use the bathroom, I couldn't. Like, I physically could not. Like, I go do sit it. on the toilet and, like, <laughs> so too much. I go sit, like, down to use the restroom. And it's like, I feel like I just sit there and, like, I've not had this though. I've been able to pee and whatever. And now it's like, yeah. it's like, like there's a blockage. Like, do I yeah, have a kidney see, my, stone? Mom was from the get go. <laughs> like, as soon as I came home, I had issues. Could I have a kidney stone? But isn't your kidneys going back? They are, but I mean, I, I don't know where you can feel pain from. You know, I thought I had one, and they thought I did too, and then comes to find out I didn't, so. I, just, I don't know. I'm a, it's just like so uncomfortable. Like, I want to go try to pee again, but like, I know I don't have to. But well, it's just try. like a uncomfortable feeling. So it's like, 
Maybe I do need to get a bottle and like try like doing that. Have you been and... drinking a lot of water? No. Okay. That's nothing. You got to drink to flush it out. Yeah. I've been really bad about the whole drinking water thing. And like, I know you that's gotta not good. You got to fill your Stanley up. Or fill one of these shelves up with waters and just go through them every day. Just I go ahead and put your little trash can back there. Chug. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, and I know I got to take care of myself because I got to be. How long have you been sitting in this spot? Oh, I just got up. But I'm saying, you've been in that spot multiple times a day. You could have drank water sitting Oh, moment. the most, I've drank that little bit of Dr. Pepper. No, oh, Dr. Pepper. Not even the water. Okay. Lord. All day. And I just ate some Cheerios for the first time when y'all walked in. That's all you I've really had. got to keep your fluids going. I got to keep myself going. Mm. And it's just, I'm so busy with everyone else. Like, in I just morning, don't think about myself. Well, right before bed, you or Caleb, fix your Stanley, put it in the fridge. So, all you do is walk by, I grab know. it, and then just sit it up here. And I used to be really good when I was pregnant, taking it upstairs. So, then in the middle of the night, I would just drink. And, like, I need you to do that. You have to. Keep one up, keep one down. I know. I need to do that. It's just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. You guys might really, when you have a baby and when you have two babies and a one-year-old, you just don't think about yourself anymore. And right. I know if I don't take care of myself, I ain't going to be here to help them out either. Exactly. It's just, yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll get it together. Hopefully it's not gallbladder. Yeah, I'm going to chug some water though because it could just be I'm dehydrated I'm too. I'm pretty sure you're dehydrated. But my urine is clear. Which makes no sense. Yeah. But, <laughs> but sometimes I guess that could be a, not a full indicator that you're dehydrated. Mine's been clear before and I was so dehydrated. Yeah. It just amazes me I was not ever dehydrated during pregnancy, they said. They were always like, no, you're good. I'm like, it does not look like I'm good. It sure did not. It <laughs> yeah. was like dark. Yeah. I'm like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, you're, you mean, everything looks normal. I'm like, well, okay. But anyway, I'm going to go check some water. <laughs> And we'll, and we'll keep you updated. I promise, guys, you guys are probably like, y'all have the most problems. And we do, honestly. <laughs> and it's not like we're faking it. It's like, <laughs> we're just real, too. We just need to be real with y'all. No, we are real. For sure. <laughs> it helps us to, like talk about it. So then, if someone else has experienced it, they can tell us and, like, almost reassure us because Google. Does not reassure, and I think that's another reason we talk about all of our issues with you guys. Because like, if one of y'all experienced it, then we're like, okay, so it is maybe normal, exactly. Ish. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so there's that. So I made it to soccer. Yep. A's listening to music. We're out here. Bradley's practicing, but me and A decided to take a little stroll. They got this nice little walking path, so why not? So that's what we're doing. Go get a little exercise in. finished our walk and that was really nice. Mm. Aiden complained the entire time. Oh, can I have that granola bar? Yeah, it's in my purse. Yay. Um, he complained the entire time because yeah, my legs were hurting. He plays hockey. Yeah. How do you play hockey and your legs hurt? Explain. That's a great question. That's what I'm saying. Makes no sense. I mean, I was just fine. I could have gone another couple laps and he's like, can we just go to the car? I was like, I guess. But we did. I looked at my thing. Uh, looked at my app, and it says that we walked for almost 25 minutes, so that was good, and we did over a mile. So I'll like take 50. it. It was not that bad. It really wasn't that bad. He's making it be worse. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is the deal. That's what it we're doing. It tastes like cinnamon. It is. It's, uh, what's the name of it? Something cookie. I found gluten-free oatmeal. Oatmeal cookie. Um, Oh, it does smell good. Try it. That's okay. I'm going to let you have it. Okay. I um, found gluten-free granola bars, and they're really hard to find without, like, coconut. I'm not... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not a fan of coconut, so when I found some without coconut, I was like, huh, yes. So, I got them, and now Aiden's um, claimed them, and so has Briley. They're really good, I'm sure. I haven't had one yet, but I'm sure mm -hmm. they are. But anyway, we're going to see here and watch practice. It is... It's only 5.30. We still have two hours. 
Unless he cancels it early. It might go out early. It just depends on the sun. When the sun decides to set. Please. driving um she wasn't driving i probably would turn like the light on but i guess i could do this it's kind of freaky looking no it's all right it doesn't bother me it's good your phone's lighting your face up i got my phone lighting my face up okay um anyway we are heading home how was soccer good good have fun yep good play new positions tonight i thought you were in the same like, one well okay here's the thing so i was in the, my normal position right for like most of practice and mm -hmm. then like towards the end he's like okay now get in a position that you haven't been playing. Okay. Okay. So one of the girls was like, will you switch with me? And I was like, yeah, sure. So then I was like midfield. She was winger. Okay. Well, then I'm standing there and I'm in midfield and he goes, Bradley, why aren't you wide? And I'm like, I'm not. Oh, you told him? Oh, wait. No, I just went wide. <gasps> I was just like, whatever. Bradley, you should have just told him. Sorry. Well, he was all the way on the other side of the field. So I didn't feel like yelling, I'm a winger. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I yeah. didn't really feel like doing that, so I was just like, whatever. So I just went wide, and I was like, whatever. Okay. I was just playing my, which I liked that position anyway, so I wasn't complaining. Yeah. But. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> it's all well. I was like, eh, it's okay. That's right. So, anyway, put my purple light on me. Um, we're heading to the house, and we get home, it'll be time to eat some dinner, and I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. I'm starving. Aiden said he's hungry. You hungry, Aiden? Starving. So hungry. Oh, he's you can't see. He's back there, guys. I'm right there, there he is. Woo! It's so blurry. It's very blurry. <laughs> All right, coming on here real quick, just kind of give you guys an update. What's going on with Kayla? Um, I was sitting here, laying in bed, watching some TV. It's about ten o'clock, and she told me that she's hurting so bad and just cannot go pee that she's like, "Mom, I'm going to the ER." So she went to the ER. Um, and when she got there, she told the lady that, or the triage nurse, she said, I feel like something's protruding out and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my bladder, my uterus. I don't know what it is. She's like, but there's something blocking. Kayla told the lady this. Um, Kayla said it's blocking the opening and the pressure is hurting. It's painful and I can't use the bathroom. Um, so the lady told her, the triage nurse said, that's an emergency situation. We're going to go ahead and move you to the front of the line. We're going to get you back in a room. And he was like, I'm so glad I went in to go see what's going on. But, um, I haven't heard anything back. I text her back and I'm like, okay, are you back? I was like, let me know as soon as you know something. I was like, my phone was on silent. I'm turning on ringer because I normally keep it on silent, just depending on where we're going or whatever for the day. And it was on silent today. But, um, yeah, so they don't know if it's her bladder protruding or something's blocking the opening. Um, and I'm really hoping to know something soon. I have no idea what's going on right now. But she is at the ER, so she's there. And I guess she's getting examined, looked at. I don't even know what kind of test they'll do. I'm, I'm sure they'll look, of course, and then she might get an ultrasound or something. But um, I have no idea what's happening. And she texts me almost 45 minutes ago and I haven't heard anything I don't know where the babies are I don't know if Caleb stayed home with them or she took the babies to Caleb's parents and Caleb is with her I honestly don't know who's where and what's going on I have no clue so it's not like I even know who to text 
Um, I'm probably getting ready to text Caleb to see if he can give me an update and let me know what's going on. I was trying to just be patient because I know when you're in the middle of the hospital and a lot's going on, you don't have time to like just text people and tell them, you know, hey, this and this and this. So I'm trying to be patient and give her time to text me back. And I know she will. Um, it's just worrisome because I'm like, you know, what's going on? Is she okay? What is it? So I'm going to text Caleb because it has been like 45 minutes. I feel like it's clear enough time maybe to text. And if he can't text me back, he won't. I get it. Or he may be home with the babies. And he may not know nothing either. I don't know. So um, I'll come back with an update. Hopefully tonight if I hear back and hear something. If not, I'll give you guys an update first thing tomorrow.